What's going on there guys? Good evening. Uh, it is Earthmaster here on this uh, weekend. It is Saturday, November 27, 2021, about 6.30 p.m. California time. Out here with Missy Mimi's. What's going on there guys? And looking at the uh, latest quake on the globe, a 2.8 earthquake up around the Alaska region. Seeing a swarm of earthquake activity uh, ramping up there over the last hour or so. And also, of course, uh, quite a bit of movement in the South America region uh, following a little unzipping pattern down the Peru-Chile Trench. Let's go ahead and check out some activity around the globe, including that movement around the Alaska area where we got a little bit of swarming up here, northern Alaska, north of the Fairbanks area around the uh, Yukon Flats region. 4.3 earthquake, the largest in this little cluster of quakes, uh, all happening within the uh, roughly about the same time of each other. Looks like some variable uh, depths there too uh, within the Yukon Flats. This little area hasn't seen a whole lot of earthquake movement. This here's the Yukon Flats here, historical data. And it looks like there has been some, uh, at least some fives within the vicinity of the uh, Yukon Flats over the years, including a 6.2 back in 1985. A little earthquake way up here too, 5.4. But uh, overall, not a not an area where we see a lot of large earthquake activity, but still nonetheless kind of monitoring that uh, current uh, seismic activity right now that's uh, occurring up there. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Uh, besides the uh, movement in the Alaska region, let's skip the states for now and look at this activity down in South America where we're seeing a swarm of deep earthquake activity along the uh, Peru Chile Trench. Look at this one here, a 4.7 striking well into the subduction zone. Uh, looks like around the uh, Argentina area with a 4.7, 179 kilometers. All this activity occurring uh, late last night uh, and also throughout the day today. Been kind of following a little pattern and uh, working its way down south. Of course, a lot of uh, deep movement uh, con could contribute to uh, some pressure build up here at the uh, subduction zone level so kind of keeping an eye on that uh, South America region as well. Into the Puerto Rico area looking uh, somewhat quiet just a couple small quakes around the Puerto Rico Trench and the southwest area of Puerto Rico all seeing some uh, that, that was kind of odd mm -hmm. all seeing uh, some earthquake activity that was really weird thought I was seeing things for a second did the whole screen go gray? Mm -hmm. Well. <coughs> uh, as far as west coast goes, looking at some movement out here along the uh, Cascadia subduction zone late last night, 4.0. This was didn't wasn't this a 4.1 or 4.2? It was a 4.1, so it was re downgraded some. Got downgraded to a uh, 4.0. Then there was a uh, looks like a 3.5 a little little afterwards. Haven't seen any further movement in the southern end today, but uh, off the coast of Oregon, or right on the coast of Oregon, 2.5 near Beaver, Oregon, at uh, 15 kilometers there. We haven't seen too much earthquake activity in this area of the Cascadia. Also up here in the uh, state of Washington here, pretty shallow earthquake, 1.8 microquake there, uh, pretty shallow quake in the uh, area of, C of Washington. Into a northern California, looking at some activity ramping up south of the Mount Lassen region. Seeing a swarm of movement up here as well. Looks like uh, so far a 2.4 earthquake, the largest in a uh, pretty, uh, not a huge cluster, of about six or seven earthquakes within the Mount Lassen area. Mount Lassen sits about 10 miles to the north of this vicinity. Um, can't really say this is related to Mount Lassen, but it is kind of within that region, uh, just west of Lake Albanor. Don't believe it's uh, volcanic in any uh, relation, just kind of some plate stress build up here in the Northern California, uh, Sierra Nevada Mountains. Also south of Reno, a little activity as well with some microquakes and a uh, trail of activity once again around Long Valley, super volcano. Quite a few microquakes around Tom's Place as well. Most of this uh, occurring late last night and this morning. Haven't seen too much movement pick up here within the last few hours. Ridgecrest activity kind of dwindling down. And uh, Southern California as well. No swarming activity 
in the Southern California area and, and uh, lack of activity in the Gulf over the last 24 hours as well. Uh, what do we got here into Oklahoma? Pretty good size swarm throughout the state. Stretching across here northwest have ended down to Quinton, Oklahoma. Uh, quite a few twos kicking off here in the vicinity of that uh, beautiful state. New Madrid area and the east coast. Pretty quiet over here except for 1.9 in the North Carolina region. This area has seen a little bit of movement throughout the week. Uh, in fact, uh, looking at about, oh, what do we have here? About four earthquakes or so. 1.9 that struck today, not as large as the two pointers that struck uh, just a couple days ago in this region. Earthquake definitely within the vicinity of those prior earthquakes. Uh, let's see what else we got here. South America region. Let's check this out here real quick again. Uh, what was the latest quake here on this map? This one here, really close to the uh, uh, subduction zone and within the vicinity of where that uh, the world's largest recorded earthquake happened back in 1964, 1963, somewhere around there. Yeah. <clears throat> that large one so kind of within that region but we've been watching uh, this activity kind of ramp up here to the north and work its way down south here kind of like in an unzipper fashion <laughs> and that is the latest quake uh, that 4.1 kind of a shallow earthquake a little bit more shallow than the other ones uh, which all took place deeper into the subduction zone a trail of activity over here as well around the Papua New Guinea Solomon Sea area some deep movement, uh, not really too deep. Uh, looks like 51 kilometers for at least this 5.4 that struck earlier uh, last night. A few fives kicking up. Fiji Islands area has gone quiet. The Tonga region, very quiet along the Kermadec Trench in New Zealand area as well. Up here around the Philippines, a little uh, 5.2, 75 kilometers. Look at the northwestern part of the Pacific Ring of Fire. Once again, pretty quiet. 4.6 uh, into the subduction trench here. What was that about Chile? Uh, we have a new one. It's not new, new, but they're updating it again in that, that where the 4.1 is. Yeah. There's now three in that area, not two. So what have we got? Three of these? Yep. All pretty much within the same, same area. Vicinity. They're all delayed, but they're coming in. Yeah, zero... That's kind of odd. Yeah. It it's just a, came through. It's a, little, it's a little on the odd side, but definitely some uh, some buildup in the South America plate for sure. You get the subduction zone quake following a, uh, well, all these quakes here following a little fashion that's working its way down south. Um, it's kind of concerning in a way. Even though they're delayed, it makes me wonder how many more are going to come in. Yeah, well, that's why I kind of run the live seismographs here. Anything yeah. that will come in will show up on the seismographs uh, on the live stream. But uh, definitely, yes, yeah, some activity kicking up in the South America region. Further south in the South Sandwich Islands area, 4.9 striking uh, earlier today. That one, uh, not a big quake, but uh, into that trench region, 41.7 kilometers down into the uh, subduction zone there. So we had one really far south, and then we had one really far north up there past Greenland. Remember that one? The one way up no, here. You can't, can't even, even view it. I know. You can't even really see it way up on the map here. I don't know if you guys can see it right there at the very top, but uh, I can't even get my mouse to click on it. It will not click on it for whatever reason. I try to click on it, and nothing happens. <laughs> so a little on the odd side, but yeah, there was a little earthquake up there. What was it? I can't remember the... 4.9. Uh, Four point nine. You can just barely see it over here on the list when I kind of pull it down. I'm not going to mess with it too much there. It's a little on the irritating side when you get an earthquake way up there. You can't even really view, uh, it. view it, at least on the uh, USGS flat model. You can't really view it at all. Uh, what have we got in the Yellowstone area? I've still seen some uh, swarming throughout the day today in Yellowstone National Park. Uh, I can see the activity around Mary Lake in the uh, northwest corner of the Yellowstone caldera all showing uh, some heightened seismic earthquake activity throughout the day within the last few hours things toning down but uh, a good number of earthquakes following uh, yesterday's intense swarming that lasted for a couple hours 
USGS continues to not issue any type of uh, earthquake activity on the USGS map here and we're probably well over a hundred earthquakes or more uh, from today's activity and yesterday's movement as well. Look at the yesterday's activity here uh, in this region. We had a pretty good burst of earthquakes when it, within a short amount of time and uh, it's a large cluster of earthquake activity there that uh, USGS is ignoring and kind of just uh, who knows I mean maybe they're taking taking some Thanksgiving days off but uh, still nothing popping up nothing on the preliminary earthquake activity um, and it's just it is what it is USGS um, kind of slow kind of lacking getting behind their USGS of course that's nothing new that is a uh, that's a hundred percent fact I think a lot of us can can agree with that uh, what else we got so yeah the Yellowstone at least from today uh, let's go over here to today's activity still confined to the northwest corner here of the uh, caldera it looks like nothing big these are all microquakes uh, in fact they look a little bit smaller than the uh, activity yesterday but it's activity nonetheless and uh, just kind of being ignored at the moment trimmer map in the pacific northwest picking up a little bit into the southern end of the cascadia down in northern california region only 20 epicenters but still uh, just kind of kicking up a little bit with the uh, you know the surface earthquake activity we're seeing up and down the coast of Oregon and that activity uh, last night the four pointer off the coast of uh, Northern California all kind of just pointing uh, to some pressure out here but uh, you know is that enough pressure to create trimmer or is it uh, just pressure to create these surface quakes nonetheless it is pressure in the Cascadia and kind of have to watch that activity pretty closely there in the uh, Pacific Northwest. What else we got to cover there, Missy? Anything worth noting? Oh, this is a 4.6. Yeah, 4.6 it struck uh, 0.132. So we're looking at, uh, when was that? Just uh, an hour or so ago? Yeah. Further pressure from the east nonetheless though. Iran seeing a little earthquake activity about the same time it looks like. Actually, let's see who was first here. We got India at about 132 and then we've seen some movement continue uh, from the east like you mentioned with a 4. Point, or a, yeah 4.7 in Iran. Just a few minutes later, um, there is considerable distance between these two, but you know, you folks got to remember uh, it's this is large to us, right? When it mm -hmm. comes to humans, but these plates are um, all it takes is a little shift somewhere in a plate area to affect another plate uh, a considerable distance away. So uh, that's kind of right here just kind of proves the uh, the whole shifting theory in a way. So movement around the Mediterranean Sea area as well, just a 4.4. That was late last night. The struck late, late last night. But uh, other than that, Atlantic Ocean looks pretty quiet. Indian Ocean all quiet as well, south of Africa. Movement out there pretty quiet around Madagascar. Okay, let's see what else we got here in the solar weather department. We'll go ahead and check that out real quick here. Not a whole lot happening. Looks pretty quiet. Uh, not a whole lot of sunspot activity. Looks like a 40% a chance of some sea flaring from uh, at least one of the solar um, sunspots. Geomagnetic forecast looks pretty quiet over the next couple days. KP index is a little bit elevated for tonight. Only, uh, what do we got, 65% chance of higher latitude uh, with the aurora there. And it's kind of lighting up a little bit in the northern um, upper latitudes there. Other than that, things are kind of kind of dull, kind of quiet out there on the sun for the moment. So, uh, What else we got? Trimmer activity, pretty quiet. Uh, La Palma, we did look at that last night there's not a whole lot of change uh, no major landslide out there into the ocean no tsunami for the east coast looking pretty quiet there's still earthquake activity obviously there at the uh, La Palma and that could continue for weeks and months to come what, what just happened here let's see what I do is it north yeah I'm not gonna sit here and play with the map here. I think I just clicked on the wrong one. But nonetheless, folks, there's definitely uh, some earthquake activity still. 
I was way off. <laughs> <laughs> I was way off. Come on, EMSC. There we go. There we go. Here's the Canary Islands uh, regional map. You can see within the last few hours. Uh, if anything, it looks like earthquake activity kind of toning down here. Uh, just some twos and threes. Not even a whole lot of threes, just quite a few twos. Uh, but uh, looks like the depths here are uh, somewhat variable. Some deeper ones in there as well. This could, like I mentioned, could continue for uh, quite some time there with the uh, volcano activity and the eruption, ongoing eruption there at La Palma. Uh, what else we got? So yeah, just uh, kind of keep an eye on South America region with that uptick of uh, uh, deep movement along the trench, resulting in a little swarm of activity off the coast or uh, right around the Chile area at the Peru Chile trench. Keep and, it and delayed, but <clears throat> just came in. What's that? Uh, Tonga had a 4.6, 190 kilometers. A 4.6 on. It, it was at three, but once again delayed. But it's it just. There it is. This one? Yeah, no, over. Right there. This one? No, one more over on the Tonga region. It's over on the Kermadec Trench. Oh, over here? Yeah. Further over, that one. See the 4.6 right there? Yeah, I'm on it. Other one. Down. There's another one? Yeah. Over, go over it right there. Oh, jeez. Yeah, that's a new one. Okay. It's not new, new, but they're delayed. I think these are automatic statuses coming through that are just delayed or something. But it just came through nonetheless. Hmm, crazy. I know. Yeah, because this was pretty quiet, huh? Mm -hmm. It was very quiet. But there just, was nothing over there just a minute ago. Yeah, it just popped up. So, so. a lot of delayed earthquake activity kicking up. Of course, it could have something to do with Thanksgiving, right? People probably ate too much turkey. and. But we're watching it nonetheless in monitoring. For That's sure. kind of why I like to run live, live uh, seismic data seismic. to see earthquake yeah. activity in the... Keep an eye have on one things. New Zealand? Closest one I have down there is the uh, Solomon Islands, maybe. Let's see here. I don't have the Solomon Islands up. I'll see if I can get something keyed up there in that region. But still, kind of keep the main okay. ones up. Yeah, I got Solomon Islands right here. Yeah. So that's kind of somewhat in just, the vicinity. It's just odd the delayed quake activity, like by hours. Yeah, it but could have something to do with the holiday yeah. uh, activity going on. But we're monitoring it nonetheless, so <laughs> when it comes in, you'll know either way. But All right, guys, have a good night. Uh, stay safe out there. We will chat to you another time, and uh, be careful out there. It's Saturday night, a lot of crazy people. Best to stay behind closed doors and uh, just avoid people at all costs. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> All right, guys. Peace out. Have a good night. Have a good night, guys.